Okay, we're starting off here. We're in the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame in Macon. So we're out in my neck of the woods. We're looking here. We got Showtime. Next show, 22 minutes. Showtime, right? We're getting ready to get it on. It's not really my show. Uh, these are actually the uh, Georgia Association All Star Kids. These are the kids that have not signed yet. These kids are getting ready to play an All Star game tomorrow. It's a big opportunity for them. So I'm, I'm here with an opportunity to speak to them, motivate them, let them know that obviously this is important. They have an opportunity of a lifetime, but at the same time, the opportunity for the rest of their life is just as important. So I'm going to bring the heat. So you need to stay tuned and watch this one because we're getting ready to bring the fire to these young people. We're going to have a great time. Stay tuned. We're going to have an awesome time. I'm a natural born leader just by looking in a man's eyes and say, look, I'm not telling you something for my benefit. I'm telling you something for the benefit of us. I say, now, I need every man to believe that in their hearts. We got to communicate and think clearly. Everybody got to know that there's somebody beside you that's dependent on you. Why right? it's up to us to go out and win this game. And I don't care what goes on in this season, don't you ever turn your back on one another. Follow my leader, come on. Ever. We got each other. Yes, we don't need nobody else. If I got your back, you got my back. If I go to war, we go to war together. We're trying to be the greatest of all time, bottom line. And if that's what they put before us, let's go get it. Now, even people that don't like me got to watch me. Somebody said you have to hate losing more than you love winning. When you lose and you feel like you've done every single thing that you could have did to, you know, succeed in this game or, or this particular play, and it doesn't happen, it affects me this amount, you know? And then you look at somebody else, you look across the room or you look across the bench and you see somebody else and they messed up and it's like, oh man, we get it the next play. Are you serious? You know, how many times is it going to be, man, we get it next time, we get it next time. Next time, you, you're going to look up and it's going to be the last play of the game. I hate losing. It's like, it, it's, just, it's just painful. I can't sleep. I'm sick to my stomach. Uh, you know, if I lose at a game of chess online, it's just, you know, it's just like excruciating for me. I never strap up my helmet to go lose. Yeah? And, 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 and honestly, it's, it's a vision, man. It's a vision. And that's the thing. Get everybody seeing that same vision. And if you do, that's rough. That's rough being men who see something. 
No quarterback's doing this. You know, these guys, what we ask them to go through on a daily basis, winter, spring, summer, fall, on a daily basis, if you don't know them personally, I don't know how you get a man to work for you as hard as you want him to work for you. You wake up in the morning, there's 24 hours in a day after you finish sleeping, right? You might need five, you might need six, you might need seven, you might need eight. I don't know, that's your business. But listen to what I'm telling you. After you have finished sleeping, after you finish eating, and if you're just that immature and you need to get your play on every day, you need to play video games, I don't know. You need to play cards. I don't know what you need to do. I don't believe in luck. I don't believe that the stars are aligned in a particular way, so that's why you threw that particular touchdown. That's why, you know, you made that particular person miss. It's all about preparation. If you don't prepare the right way for a particular game, it's going to show. You're going to get exposed, especially in this league. Whatever you need to do after you finish exercising, I'm telling you, just spend the rest of that time in action, and you're going to separate yourself from everybody. Why? Because most people, all they doing is talk, 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 talk. That's all they doing is talk, 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 and they get pumped up and they're getting excited from talking. So I'm saying get out of neutral and get it in the drive. Don't let your words guide you. Let your actions guide you. Are you hearing me? It is what it is. The formula is out here. Stop dreaming about it. Stop talking about it. And get up and do something about it. That A, baby, that action, that action, that grinding, that waking up and grinding. This is where it happens. This is where the magic happens. It's all about my feet. They don't pay me from the game, baby. They pay me from the feet. You never get to a place where you chill. You never get to a place in your life where you accomplish something and you feel like you accomplished it and now you straight. What if I fail? E, I'm scared, E. E, I want to do it. I got gifted. I'm gifted. I'm talented. I know I can write that song. I know I can produce that album. I know I can do that CD. I know I can write a book. I know I can get that degree. But I'm scared. This is me very close. You got this the fight of your life, baby. Are you hearing me? This the fight of your life. It's the fight of your life. And listen to me. If you're going to win the fight of your life, you can't be afraid to fight. Uh -huh. I don't know how much money Gandhi made, but I know he changed the world. What's your why? He got a why. He ain't just playing for no championship. He not. You got to hear what I'm telling you. If y'all going to be great on that field, you got to have a why. You got to have a reason for why you do what you do. All he keeps thinking about is, I'm going to get one for my coach. That's why he ain't all smiling, because why? He's not smiling because what he's trying to accomplish, he has not what? He ain't got it yet. And, and kind of break it down as you go. The days before the game, you have to dream about that. You have to think about that, you know, uh, like, I, like I joke around all the time. You know, even when you're with girls, you know, you have to think about making those big time plays. You ain't gonna see that boy smile until he get the championship, and when he get it, he gonna hold up. The problem with some of y'all, the reason why you don't give 120% every doggone time you get on the field, because you ain't got a why for what you do. You ain't got a why, because I'm looking in your eyes, and I see some of y'all, you ain't serious. And you think you about to go out there with the Ray Lewis's of the world? Bro, please, when Ray come out, you see the passion. Every game, you see the energy. He come out every game like, y'all follow me. Follow my lead, baby, and we're going to win this thing. I want to if you've maintained your focus throughout. How would you describe your own journey from Blinn when you left there to get here? You know, it's just a God thing. You know, I thank God every single day. You know, I, I, I'm just his instrument, and he's using me on a consistent basis daily. You know, I just want to, you know, he's using me to, to, to extend his word. And, and, and I'm, a, I'm a prime example of, of how God can, can, can turn something that was bad into something that was very great. I got three, 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 three points to try to get to as fast as I can. In the video, the fight of your life, right? Okay, I went to a small school in Miami, Florida, right? So I thought when, when, when Coach Charlie Strong came and talked to me, recruited me, I thought I may could go to Florida. I thought I was something coming out of this little school, and then I got the SAT score, and this is a big whopping 680. And I said, dang. So here I go. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to go to college, and I thought I was a D1 player. And so then I, I, I go to Liberty University. Lynchburg, Virginia, played there for a year, and I got this guy in front of me named Wayne Carswell that played for the Broncos for 12 seasons. They want to move into defense. I said, no, no, I'm a tight end. I want to play, uh-uh, I, I, I told my high school coach, find me somewhere to go. Next thing you know, I'm at West Georgia College, D2. Ego just going, just drop. All right? Bottom line is, you guys are in very similar situations. Not many of you in the room were signed yet. Tomorrow, 
could be the fight of your life. You agree? Sure. Tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow's a day where you can show some people that you can play. The funny thing is, most of you, if you're a lot like me, have been told you're no good. You can't make it. Unfortunately, from your mama, your daddy, your friends, you ain't good enough, you ain't smart enough, and, and you got bad habits, and you do this, you, you're not going to be nothing. So you, not only you fight mad, you fight yourself. So, so this is the fight of your life. And fortunately, you got great coaches that are looking out. So this opportunity is huge for you, right? I use the illustration of milk, right? My boys from Green County, y'all remember this? I don't know if you remember it, but you look at milk. If you're like me, when you go to the grocery store, uh, what's the first thing you do when you go get milk? What do you look at? You look at the date, right? You grab the date, and once you see the date, then what do you do? You you look at you you, you see the first one, you go back and see if the date's any better, right? Because you know when the milk gets old, what happens? It spoils. Right? So, so you guys are in a situation right now as seniors, guess what? Milk, milk's about to spoil, right? Some of you may never ever play football again. All of us at some point are asked to get off the football train. Coaches, owners, college, high school, and it's painful. Okay? You got an opportunity. You got a huge opportunity. Alright? It's an opportunity for you guys to take advantage of it, right? So I talk about expectations versus effort. People talk, talk, talk about what they're gonna do, but my question is. Up to this point, has, has, does your week look like your expectations? Does the effort you put in every single day mirror your expectations? I want to play big time college football, really? Does your week mirror that? How about your day? What are your habits like? Right? Because normally, your behavior is a reflection of your beliefs. So people, coaches can see it. Coaches can see what's going on because the behavior of your, that, that you exemplify is what's going on in the mind. Right? So make, make sure you understand the expectations got to be good. Go to the next, next slide. Next two slides here. One more. One more. Very, very, very important. So the one thing I'll tell you, if there's any takeaway, there's one thing that you remember from, from this little 10 minute thing that I'm sharing with you is stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. What I mean by that is get real. Get real with yourself and, and realize that you're never going to go to Walmart and, and see a championship half off. You're not going to see success on discount. It only happens by grinding, right? Talent is God-given, but skill is developed. The development of skill takes place in the weight room with the parachute running sprints. You got me? That's the only way it happens. All right? So, so make sure you understand that. Go to the next one for me. Second point, I'm going to talk about vision, right? Now, they're important because, because <coughs> what you say out of your mouth is what you see in your mind, right? And unfortunately, what you say to yourself long enough, you tend to believe it. So the question is, what do you say to yourself? What is that self-conversation about? It's like if I'm holding a bag of seeds in my hand, and on that bag it said apple, what would you say they are? If I got a bag of seeds, and on the outside of the bag it says apple, what are they? Apple seeds, apple seeds right? That's what most people say, but somebody with vision says, no, those are apple trees. See, they already see it. So when you're thinking about the vision for yourself, what do you see for yourself? What are you making of yourself? Because really and truly, if you think like everybody else thinks, if you're thinking like everybody else thinks, and you're not thinking something different, you better ask yourself. Because if you're acting like the masses, you ain't acting different. You can't be the Ray Lewis of the world. Right? And very, very important to understand that your mind side is more important than your eyesight. So I'm going to give you an exercise for tonight. Okay? Do you think what I'm telling you is important? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you an exercise, right? And I'm not with you, so I don't know if you're going to do it. It's between you and you. All right? This effort's between you and you. I have no idea if you're going to do it. But tonight, tonight, you're going to lay in your bed, okay? And it's called theater of the mind. You're going to play out in your mind what you've been practicing all week. You're going to play it out in your mind. You're going to see the field. You're going to see the catch. You're going to see the block. You're going to see the foot placement. You're going to see your hands in it. You're going to see you fighting on the outside if you're an end. Backer, you're going to feel yourself plugging the hole. Fullback, chopping the knees. Quarterback, you see in the field. Cover two, you're looking. You're going to play it out every time. You're going to see yourself score. You're going to see yourself making the plays. You're going to see yourself being a game changer. How many people does it take to change a game? There's one person, right? One pick six. It's game change. Who's that going to be in the room? Who's that going to be in the room? Every one of you has got an opportunity to be a game changer. You think tomorrow, if, you're a game, if you play the game of your life tomorrow, the game of your life tomorrow, do you think you may have somebody send you a letter, want to sign you in a couple weeks? 
So, so I think it'd be very important to realize that your level of intention, your level of intensity from this toy, from, from right now moving forward, have fun, have a good time. This is all business, man. This is all business. Y'all got to get a scholarship, right? You got to get paid. Somebody's got to sign. And you only sign by making big plays. Let's go to the last point real quick because they want me to get out of here. Man, I wish I had more time with you guys, man. I apologize. Third point, you got to never give up. Now, we hear that all the time. You never give up. Never give up. You're going you to go through things your whole life that's going to make you want to give up. You never give up. That's why I like this picture so much, man. You've got this guy at the bottom. They're both digging for diamonds. One cat's, he's digging. He's going. He's going for it. He's going for it. <clears throat> you don't know how close you are to that scholarship. It's fourth quarter. It's fourth down. There's a minute and 30 seconds left. You are dog tired. You're playing on the corner. You need a big play. You're tired. Don't turn around and walk away. You were like this close away from somebody tipping a ball in your hands and you run in the other direction. It could be the difference between getting a diamond and signing February 6th. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes. Sir. You gotta sign. Okay? You gotta make the play. Alright? Understand something that you count and you matter. Everything you do tomorrow affects the outcome, okay? Everything you do. If you dog it, if you dog it, it affects the outcome. If you're full speed, it affects the outcome. You can't escape tomorrow, you will affect the outcome. Either way. All right, and I want you to know something from me to you. You count, you matter. Ephesians 2.10 talks about your masterpiece. God says you're a masterpiece. God says we're making his image, right? If I'm made in God's image, that's pretty, that's pretty strong, isn't it? All right, so you're made in those powerful images. So you gotta, you got to get in your own zone and figure out where you're at. How much time do you have? Well, can I get with one last thing? Yeah. Well, let me close with this. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me go to next one. Go to next one. Go to next one. I mean, you know what? Let's go to the next one. One last one. I was going to get Jelani because I'll tell you something you know. But here, here we go. Look, what do we got up here? What do we got right here? The two clocks, right? They both tell time, right? What's the difference? Time's run out of one twenty-four hours. See, this one here is an illusion. When you see this clock, it just runs all the time, and you think you get all the time in the world. But the reality is, it's the same as this, isn't it? It eventually runs out, don't it? Right? So tomorrow, my boy ET, I love this to ET. You got an opportunity to be phenomenal or be forgotten. Wow. Phenomenal, we forgot. The choice is yours. You can make something happen, make it play, or it's over. The milk is done. Appreciate your time, guys. You're on the board.